Welcome to part 10 of the World Partition video series. This video discusses how to create massive open world landscapes that are larger than what the standard importer can manage. The Unreal Engine 5.1 and 5.1.1 landscape height map import feature is limited to a maximum 16384 by 16384. Any height map size larger than that results in a max 2D texture error. This video shows one method that can be used to get past that height map import limitation and create massive open worlds. The first thing to do is to get a really large terrain height map of the desired size. On a computer with 64 gigabytes to 128 gigabytes of memory, it should be possible to create a landscape using this method that is at least 64 kilometers to 128 kilometers in size, possibly even 256 kilometers. The only major requirement is a lot of time because this method requires a lot of manual work to create the massive landscape. For the purposes of this tutorial video, the terrain height map should be a multiple of 4033 by 4033 sections with shared edges. For example, 2 times 4033 minus 1 equals 8065, or 4 times 4033 minus 3 equals 16129, or 8 times 4033 minus 7 equals 32257. You could use larger sections, such as 8129 by 8129, but that will make the process in Unreal Engine more difficult and more memory will be required during construction. Create a new terrain height map or open the existing terrain height map in TerraSculptor. TerraSculptor supports height maps up to 1 million pixels. Use the tool menus Tile EX Creator to split the height map into 4033 size sections with shared edges. Save the sections to file using the sequential naming system as we don't want underscores in the file names or that messes up Unreal Engine's height map importer. Launch Unreal Engine 5.1 or 5.1.1 or later. On the file menu create a new level and choose the open world preset. Select all of the landscape streaming proxies and delete them. Then select and delete the landscape actor. On the mode drop down choose the landscape item. Choose import from file. Select the first section file. Optionally choose a material. Make a note of the number of components shown on the import panel as you will need this later. Now click on import. This will place the first terrain section at the zero world location. On the mode drop down choose selection mode. Adjust the exponential height fog down a bit so that we can work on the landscape easier. Make sure that the landscape actor is selected. And again choose landscape on the mode drop down. This time we want the landscape manage tools. Click on the add button to add components to the landscape. This is how we extend the size of the landscape to the full open world size that we want. For a 4033 by 4033 section size, set the add brush size to 32. This is also the same value that was on the landscape import panel when we imported the initial section. If you're using a different section size with a different number of components, then you will have to set the brush size accordingly. Move the landscape components green wireframe brush to the center of the current landscape edge. Note that the yellow brush outline will overlap the current landscape section. This is because the green add brush is actually centered in the yellow brush region. Click the left mouse button. A new set of landscape components will be added to the edge of the existing terrain section. Again move the landscape components green wireframe brush to the center of the newly added landscape components edge. Note that the yellow brush outline will overlap the current landscape section. Click the left mouse button. 
a new set of landscape components will be added to the edge of the existing terrain section. Note that if you accidentally create more components than what you need, you can manually delete any extra edge components using the delete tool. Adjust the green landscape brush so that it correctly aligns up with the edge of the newly added components. You might wish to adjust the grid snap value larger. Click on the Import button. Select the Height Map File checkbox. Browse to the next terrain section that sits at this location of landscape components that we just added. Click on the Import button. The next terrain section will be imported and stamped onto the new components that we just added. Repeat this same process over and over for every terrain section that you have. It will require a lot of time and effort, but it will allow massive open world landscapes to be created. Be sure to delete any extra edges of landscape components that get created in this process. Using this technique should allow you to create massive open worlds.